Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of BML here on BAOS. Um, you might be able to notice, I don't know if it looks a little different, but we got lights finally. We've been doing YouTube, I guess, for, I mean, technically like two years, like seriously, like a year and a bit, and we got lights finally. We've been fronting, we've been like, you know, usually we shoot on, on location for the podcast and stuff, and we got no control over the. Uh, audio for the most part and the lighting which is really difficult <clears throat> excuse me but we finally got lights for the crib when we do uh these type of videos so i'm excited let me know what you guys think if you can tell the difference we're trying to get on hops and bros levels so shout outs to you guys for the inspiration so speaking of shout outs shout outs to my boy noah forrest from beerism uh we linked up the other day and he hooked me up with a can of this bad boy which uh i was pretty stoked about i'd seen it on instagram i heard it sold out really quickly so no one knew I would be about this life, and uh, he was right. So his friend, Steve Pilotto, did a collab with Great Lakes called Unfazed by Haze. It's a 6.8% American IPA. Hazy, of course. Um, my understanding is that Steve either, he's a home brewer, so he either won a contest or he just knew him and they did a collab with him. Uh, like a short run. This is their wicked 30th anniversary branding. Uh, I've had a few other beers in this, and I, I quite like it because they've done a whole bunch of short runs that... From my understanding, they don't normally do. And I'm a huge fan of Great Lakes, so this is this is really cool. Um, yeah, so Noah hit me up with it and just said, look, you know, see what you think. And I figured I might as well do a review because this is the type of beers that we do enjoy. And uh, I like seeing uh, <clears throat> homebrewers collab with, you know, commercial brewers. I think it's really, really cool. Um, so let's see what's popping. By the way, shout outs again. I always get a shout out to uh, all the gear I'm wearing. Shout outs to Pretty Penny for the chain. These uh, hot necklaces are super bomb. And shout outs to Ontario Brutes for the shirt. Check them both out. I'll link them in the description. They are both fire and flames. Wow, that sounds great. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we always use proper glassware, never dirty. Um, this isn't looking too hazy just yet, but do you know I've seen dudes do it. I never used to do this. Nathan, shouts to Nathan from RNDB. Does a little, leave a little bit, leave a little bit of a swirly. Picks up the uh, the yeast at the bottom, pulls it in. That is looking clear as a lager coming out of there. But they might uh, dirty up. No, it's getting slowly there. Never judge until they're fully poured. And this, uh, it's always hard when we do these videos and like if I'm splitting the beer with like Scott or Rich or Tiff or someone like that, and uh, I'm pouring. Um, and you're splitting them, you don't always get that equal amount of yeast in both glasses. So we have to kind of figure out how to do that a little better and stuff. Because sometimes one's light, one's not. And it does partially affect the flavors. Even though I've had people tell me, like, they're certain that it doesn't. Like, in my experience, I'm pretty sure it does. So, look at that head, mate. Pillowy, foamy. Mm. Super tropical on the nose there. So... What do you guys do actually? So if it gets to a situation like this, I don't know if I would put my nose in it. I would just kind of like let it chill for a minute and uh, let the head go down. Um, I don't have that sort of luxury right now, so I'm gonna get it in me. Cheers. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh great. This reminds me of something. My immediate thought is Bellwoodsy, but I don't know if that's just like my go-to like feeling with like haze type of stuff. Super tropical. Yeah, real, real slight bitterness, a little dankness, a little bit earthy, not too much though, uh, juicy, not over the top, like it's definitely like, they're calling it American IPA, um, usually that means West Coast, but they're not calling it Northeast, I guess it's just like a not, like it's an opaque, I wouldn't call this hazy by any means, it's definitely opaque, um, yeah, crisp, the bitterness is uh, creeping in a little more, the more sips I have, um, Mm. Yeah, I mess with this, man. This is great. Tangy. A little bit of a dry finish. Kind of the tanginess and like slight bitterness kind of lingers out there. Yeah, it's pretty solid, man. Um, I know Great Lakes haven't done many of this style. They do have crazy stuff. <clears throat> they haven't been one of the breweries to really like adopt the haze or anything like that. So I was excited to... Um, this is just a solid beer. And as well, with today, today's date is the 26th of January. And this was canned on the 3rd of January, 2018. So pretty fresh, three weeks-ish. Um, which means this is probably at its like peak, which seems to be like a, a common thread with uh, this style. 
But this is great. Um, I would definitely want to see more things like this come out of Great Lakes. I actually did. My brother, shouts to know, she gave me, they had a, it's a pretty funny name. I do a grimace in it, and it was like a milkshake IPA. It was pretty good. Once again, it wasn't like, like mud haze. It was just a little bit opaque, and I think that's just more like the style that they do. So this is solid. One last sip. Yeah, man. So shout out Steve. Shout out Noah. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, and if you watched this far, I know it's not a long one, but pretty sure that means you might be messing with it. Chuck us a thumbs up with the little guy on the screen there. Hit subscribe and uh, hit that little notification bell as well so you get notified every time we drop a video, which is three times a week. Um, and follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast. And of course, check out the long form audio. Uh, we've been really focusing on, by the time you see this, it'll probably be deep in the uh, the local stuff. So we're doing a lot of um, you know Montreal, Toronto, Ottawa, Vermont type of stuff right now. Um, so uh, really bringing it back home for a bit. Uh, well, there's going to be Australia stuff too, let's be real. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Get in ya.